we're getting into some single lane country lanes you can feel that this is where this car was made for it's not necessarily built for the perfectly smooth circuits for motorway driving but down roads like this where there's a bit of feedback through the road it's a bit bumpy this car is made for this kind of thing you can feel the rear axle is quite light with everything being up front engine gearbox turbo they have got the battery at the rear which is a fantastic decision I think to have that there uh, just whatever you can to even out the weight distribution so that's great but you can feel under braking um, the rear axle is quite light which I think is nice it allows you to set the car into the corner and drive the car on your around the corner a bit more with the softer suspension setting it into the corner I think it's I quite like it but won't be to everyone's taste the less security it feels less stable but I think that's what makes the car playful around scenarios like this and around a track when this car goes to a track which should be quite soon Okay, so here I am, about to go out for my first ever track day, two laps around Bruns Hatch Indy. And I'm at the wheel of a brand new 2021 Toyota GR Yaris 260 brake, Michelin PS4 S's. Here we go, we're on the track. Try 
I'm trying to use a bit more. We'll get to the edge of the track soon. Hopefully not too close to the edge. And I'll break in a nice straight line. Right. So what I'm thinking now is I'm trying to get faster and faster.
So I think those are the factors that caused that slide. So now as I'm going around this lap, I'm thinking about, right, what am I going to do next lap? At Paddock Hill, so I'm coming around clear ways, and now I have my chance to work on Paddock Hill and build up my confidence again at that turn. So there we have it. That's a wrap on my first ever track day, which was in a Toyota GR Yaris around Brands Hatch Indy. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.